Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an Asus Tough A15 FA506 Gamer laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage if you want to replace or upgrade it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So you have these four screws on the bottom here these three along the middle, and then these four up here. So remove all of your screws, guys. You'll notice this one down here for most of you will not be removable. You can unscrew it, but it'll stay in there, which is actually kind of nice because that gives you a little bit of lift on the bottom case to start off taking it off. You would then use a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a little bit. So use a small flat plastic pry tool to finish this off. Start over here and go around the edge of your bottom case until you can pry the whole bottom case off. Nice and slow but firm and don't put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some things when taking off a bottom case. Just keep it right on the edge and go nice and slow. After your bottom case is removed, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. As a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it is sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement parts for this A15 FA506, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, where you can find all those tools and supplies and all the replacement and upgrade parts, your batteries, your storage, your RAM, any replacement parts for this computer. Now as a general rule of thumb, before I do anything inside a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes the computer a little safer to work on. To remove the battery, you have a screw right here near the left and a screw down here on the bottom near the corner. After removing those screws, your battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as usual, I advise you to not pull on wires where you don't have to and instead manipulate the plug itself. So on a plug like this, you have a grip on either side. You'll use a small flat plastic pry tool and you can push on this side, push on that side, go back and forth until you've wiggled it out without pulling on the wires. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Your solid state drive is right here underneath this black shield and it's held down by a single screw right there on the left. After you undo that screw, you'll be able to pull this out of this port right here. After it was removed, you can see the port right here. It's right above your Wi-Fi card. That's where the solid state drive lies down. It's an M2 port right there and the screw hole was right there. This port does support Gen 4 solid state drive, so that's kind of cool, just so you guys know. Also, if you're looking for some more storage upgrade options, as you can see right here, there's a 2.5 inch SATA connection um, hard drive or solid state drive caddy right there. So you guys can get one of those to put in here and you'll need a, a ribbon cable connector, a SATA a connector that'll plug into the drive here and then the ribbon cable will plug into the motherboard right here where you see this empty ribbon cable port right there. So that's kind of a brief rundown of your solid state drive M.2 port and also your SATA 2.5 inch hard drive or solid state drive here. Again, you will need an adapter to plug into your motherboard here. And again, as mentioned before, there'll be some solid state drive options, um, upgrade options in that link below. So that's the video guys, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that wanna support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.